getting by with a little help from my friends, the Living Book of Digital Skills Get Book Project. This is from Dr. Sarah King from AARNet. Sarah is training and engagement lead for AARNet. She is focused on outreach within the research sector, developing communities of interest around training, outreach and skills development in e-research. And I'm going to hopefully pass it on to Sarah. Hi, everyone. Thank you very much. Um, I'm just going to my screen. How does that look? Can you see a big blue and white slide? Looks good. Yes, looks good. Thank you. So hi, everyone. I'm Sarah. And yes, I work at Arnett. Uh, this little project, though, is something that I'm doing uh, alongside uh, a whole team, a wonderful group of people. So I really need to acknowledge them. And I'd also like to um, acknowledge uh, the previous speakers. I am a bit of a change of topic, but I just want to say thank you so much for, for your uh, presentations. It's really lovely to be in this group. Um, I'm joining you today from Ghana country and would uh, very much like to pay my respects to elders past, present and extend that respect to all Aboriginal, Torres Strait Islander and First Nations people who are here today. So in this presentation, I want to introduce or update, depending on if you've known about this before, uh, on this project that I'm leading with the Digital Dexterity Champions Network. And this is a group made up of librarians from academic libraries across Australia and New Zealand with the support of the Council of Australian Libraries and Cabal the uh, Australian Academic Libraries um, or University Libraries, here we are. Um, the Gitbook team is a small subgroup of this main group. We're about 10 to 15 uh, very in, uh, lovely members uh, from Australia and New Zealand. And we started working on this project around April last year. I also want to acknowledge specifically Nika Sakmakis and Emma Chapman for putting together the original version of this presentation. So what is this thing? The idea came uh, from a call on Twitter for a guide to modern, not quite technical digital skills, whatever that means to everyone. Uh, and so we decided to take that idea on and see if we could work out a way to do it using the great tools that we have available now for collaborative work across different people and different um, institutions. And uh, rather than this guide just being by or for a limited group, what we want is to make something that can be used uh, broadly and created collectively. So what we're doing is we've set up the basics, I suppose, and we're using GitHub and publishing it on GitBook, uh, which is a platform um, that is supported by Git. Uh, and to maintain the book, we're using that GitHub notification system so that people can send us suggestions, corrections, and so on. And hopefully we can build a community of maintainers, something like the Carpentries, to be able to keep the, pro the process going to keep this book alive, which is the idea. So why are we using GitBook and GitHub? Uh, well, for us, it's no cost. I registered as Anna is a not-for-profit, so we could get a no-cost uh, situation there. We're really enjoying learning how to make a site from scratch. It's been a very empowering process for everyone. The version control aspect is really useful, so we can correct and make changes, but all of that is kept. And all of those inbuilt collaboration features are great for community building. I think working across these, uh, the pandemic uh, and internationally, it's been really great to have these uh, collaboration features. And it also means that we're not dependent on any particular platform or, or a specific um, file type, as everything is easily transferable and reusable using Markdown files. So, so far, we started taking shape in 2021, and what we managed to do is get a group together. We have a book structure. Each chapter reflects an element of the digital dexterity framework. Uh, we have topic suggestions put together for each chapter. We have added content for some topics. Uh, there are contributor instructions, and we've put together some uh, governance and administration files. So things like copyright and how to, you know, manage a few things like that. So I've got a link there and I'll put a link in the chat on how you can uh, have a look at the book. Um, just a little bit more detail. Each chapter has several topics and each topic has proficiency levels. So uh, if you're looking at a particular uh, topic, you can uh, then 
decide if you just want to look at the developing, like if it's something you've never heard of before, or if you want to go right through those three skill levels to get to an adept level in whatever that is. This is also important uh, to remember because what we're doing is we're asking for contributions. We really want this to be built by the community. We want to know if there are subject matter matter experts out there if you've already got some stuff that could be useful in this book it would be wonderful if we could all share it to make it as useful to as many people as possible so we're hoping that there'll be a little kind of give and take in 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 our community so we've got a list of requested articles that you can look at if you can scroll through that see may, perhaps there's something you know about you can share your your ideas if you've got more ideas about topics and your contributions all through a github contributor form that we've got there's lots of links i think i'll put this in the is it in the padlet or some we'll figure out where to put it and you can also join us on slack so what's coming up next for this project is that we're continuing to learn we're not get experts at all so we're constantly trying to remember how to do everything uh, but we'll be adding our own content content and hopefully helping uh, accept contributions and doing that sort of editing stuff uh, but we really really want you to come and join us uh, we're working on how to uh, give an author attribution that's come up at the moment. We don't have anything like that. Uh, we will be doing some GitHub and Git training sessions for those who want to contribute but aren't sure about how to work GitHub, which is a lot of us. Uh, and then in June 2022, we're going to have a bit of a, a, a health check and just see how it's going and see if it is relevant and, and if it's something that the community wants. So that's me in the digital dexterity um, hat. 